Today in your paint palette, you will have six neon colors, a few empty spaces, black, white, and also silver. Notice that the silver is very watery and liquidy, so be careful not to tilt or spill your paint. Today we want to begin by painting the large majority of our rocket with silver. It will act as a base coat and you can add other colors on top later once the silver is dry. Make sure as you apply the silver you are spreading it out evenly and reloading your brush frequently to keep things moving along. If you know that you want your entire fin or cone to be a different color, you can leave those areas unpainted for now, but it won't hurt if you paint it all silver. You don't have to worry about painting the inside of your negative spaces unless you want to. You can paint it with silver or you could even add in some of the neon colors later when you're adding in your smaller details. Do not, however, paint the inside of your rocket. Your light will actually shine better when the inside remains white. When painting details, be sure to choose a brush that is the best size and shape for the job. Paint carefully and really try to smooth out your paint before reloading. You don't want to leave large globs and blobs of tempera paint everywhere because this kind of paint, the thicker it is when you apply it, the more likely it is to crack off when it dries. Remember, we are painting a three-dimensional object. So you want to always be looking over, under, behind, and at your lantern from all angles to make sure you aren't forgetting any spots. Finish painting all of your large areas of color first, and then with your remaining time, you can go back and add small details. Sometimes simple is better, so don't feel like you have to fill up every square inch with extra details. I also highly encourage you to use your messy mat to dry your brush after rinsing it clean in the water. It will make your colors less watered down and less likely to drip. I have been holding my rocket in this video more so you can see what I'm doing, but I actually find it easier to let the rocket sit on my messy mat while I paint. That way I don't have to worry about accidentally smearing any of my wet designs. And if I need to turn the rocket, I just turn my paper. Think through your design before getting started, but feel free to change things up as you go along. When you finish today, we will turn our rockets back into the front cart. If you need help picking up a really wet, painty rocket, just ask before you risk smearing all of your hard work. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. 